Happy Easter, everyone. Oh, I am so tired. I've been working like a like a slave for the past two weeks to get my book out at Easter, and I did it. So happy Easter. Jesus, the Eternal Bridegroom is published at Amazon as a Kindle book and as a paperback. And I'm just going to go ahead and let you see what it looks like. I'm going to go right to the Amazon page here. Let's see if we can get this here. Um... Okay, as you can see, here it is. This is the uh, Kindle edition, right here, Kindle edition. And Brent Spiner, right, he does the introduction, and he's the narrator, so I'm giving him credit. And uh, and if you look at, if you go right here, you can click right here on the book here at Amazon, and you can get a preview of the book. And here's the beautiful cover. I did all the artwork. <laughs> And you know what? This is an accurate representation of what Jesus really looks like and what Zack Knight really looks like. And then there's Brent Spiner and me in the background. And uh, G here's the book at Kindle. And um, basically, it's Brent Spiner, his life from the time he accepted Christ as his Savior, which was very interesting because... It, he accepted Christ because Jesus Christ rescued him from a UFO, and that's in this book. And um, so this is a, here's the book right here. It's a biographical novel about Jesus Christ through those who have met him. Here's the cast of characters. Brent Spiner, his clone, myself, Lori McBride and her clone. So she's, a, she's actually a Jesuit clone, Matthew McConaughey, Jesus Christ. Judge Terence Jenkins, Vladimir Putin, and his clone, Hugh Jackman, Ludmila Putin, Larissa Putin, That's the that was the wife of Vladimir that he had from 1983 to 2000 when she died. And then Jesuits replaced her with her with a clone wife that Vladimir never wanted, and my book goes into that. Jesuit Rule 13, the Antichrist or Jesuit Zack Knight. And let me see how I'm doing here. Um, okay, and um, Satan, George W. Bush, Laura Bush. And you can see all this when you look at the Kindle version. This is the free preview. Gerard Butler, uh, Camilla Alves, who's a Jesuit. Uh, that's the one who poses as Matthew McConaughey's wife in the and you know Zack Knight owns the mainstream internet, so you're you're going to get the Jesuit version of events when you go online. Barack Obama, Kim Jong Il, and this book details what really happened to Kim Kim Jong Il and how he was murdered by the Jesuits. Also, Pope Benedict was murdered by the Jesuits, and that's in this book as well. And uh, here are the table of contents. And here's a quote here, Brent, if I could retroactively add anything to the Bible, it would be this, don't believe everything you hear on the internet. I have that as, I think, a memorable quote from Jesus, since this book's about Jesus. And, um, uh, oh, goodness. Um, okay, it looks like I'm doing all right here. Okay, uh, here are the table of contents. You have the introduction. Jesus Christ on a UFO. This is the Kindle book. There's also a paperback. Uh, Jesus and my Jesuit clone. Okay, in the introduction, that talks about uh, how G we had, where I had an interview with Jesus Christ, and he gave me writing instructions. Jesus Christ on a UFO. That chapter is about Brent Spiner and how the experiences he had when he was abducted by a UFO, and how that led to him accepting Christ as his savior. Jesus and my Jesuit clone. This uh, details uh, the battle that Brent Spiner had with his own clone where his clone tried to kill him and how Hugh Jackman came in there and rescued him. Uh, Church of Gale. This details how Church of Gale got started and why my men started the church for me. Heart Attacks and Jesuit Camilla Alves. This chapter is uh, this chapter details uh, what happened, uh, all the, you know, how Brent Spiner and my men keep get Jesuits give them heart attacks, and uh, and why J Camilla Alves took Matthew McConaughey to court when Matthew started co uh, corresponding with me online a little bit. 
Uh, nuke on the Vatican. This is something the Jesuits have covered up, but the uh, Vatican was nuked in 2011. Of course, the, the Jesuits have uh, space age technology and they can rebuild stuff up in days. So, But it, this talks about what happened there. Hugh Jackman's heroic robot. This details how Hugh Jackman rescued my mother, and she has completely forgotten about this, from a North Korean prison and how she accepted Christ as her savior at that prison. And uh, the Jesuits have removed these memories from her, and she does not remember this at all, which is a real shame. Um, but it's a very, it, it was Hugh Jackman and that robot. The robot actually won the Medal of Honor, but uh, this chapter goes into this. Barack Obama gave him that award. Okay, the San Francisco Jesuit Sexual Compound. This chapter goes into what happened to my men when they were abducted, taser abducted by the Jesuits and sent to a San Francisco homosexual compound and tortured there. And this talks about that. And then the next one is, uh, this details the death of Kim Jong-il, what really happened to North Korean leader Kim Jong-il. Okay, now everybody knows about, I've made YouTube videos about the Nukaki in Canada, and I've got a whole chapter on that. And this was the first Nukaki that the Jesuits unleashed on the world. They, unfortunately, have done a lot more since then. But this is the first one, so it was very significant. Resurrection from the Dead details how Judge Terrence Jenkins died and went to heaven and came back. Um, Je Jesus Christ executes Zack Knight. This is a chapter about how Jesus Christ did kill Zack Knight. He was actually in hell for a couple of months before Satan resurrected him. A dildo for Gail. This chapter is about how my men uh, gave me that dildo, which Zack Knight, where he got a video of that, which he stole right off my computer and posted it at his YouTube channel. This goes into all that. And also what really happened when my men gave me the dildo. Camilla always pushed Jesus Christ on the stand. This is a very interesting story. Uh, here, uh, actually, let me just go ahead and... Uh, show my face here. Um, and, uh, and the Camilla Alves, there was a, ca a case between, uh, what happened was Camilla took uh, Matthew to court over me. And um, it got to, she, the Jesuits wanted me to get executed for the death of Zach Knight. Because in January 2012, he was dead. He was in hell burning. And they wanted me executed for that. And I told them, I said, and I said, oh, you're gonna, you want me executed for what God did? And th this t goes into the case how they actually put Jesus Christ on the stand. And what Jesus Christ did is really interesting. And this chapter goes into that. He made himself known. And Jesus Christ appears at Fox News. This chapter de details where Jesus Christ actually spoke in a voice at Fox News. <laughs> and then the last chapter is Church with Satan, the Antichrist, and Jesus Christ. The title just kind of tells you right there. <laughs> this is a, so you got to read this book. It is, it is not boring. It's probably going to be, I think it'll be a page turn. It is nonfiction, but I wrote it like, um, I wrote it like a, a novel, like a, like a science fiction novel. And I, I worked very hard on this book. I'm really proud of my work. I worked very hard on it. And uh, from what I understand, Steven Spielberg has already started. He started a television series based on my writings. A large part of it, he's been using content from this book. And, uh, oh, i got to show you something else interesting. Uh, take a look at this. Okay, I don't know if you can see this or not, but... Um, Oh, let's get down here. Okay, look at this. This is for the paperback. There's, I just, it's, look at that date. I'm so proud. I published it on Easter. Happy Easter, Jesus. I did this for you. Thank you for dying on the cross for me and rising again from the dead. As you notice, I put Gabriel Chana, author, Gail Cord Schuler, author, Brent Spiner, narrator, introduction and contributor, and plus five more. Terrence Jenkins, contributor, Matthew McConaughey, contributor, Vladimir Putin, contributor. That is because I have actual quotes from each of these men. 
because I had a very extensive online co uh, communication with all these Gerard Butler, uh, Hugh Jackman. So I decided to give them contributor uh, credit because I'm using so, you know their uh, their correspondences with me in this book to help tell our story. And my my little uh, blurb here says everything. Jesus Christ battles for love in this epic true story. Agnostic Brent Spiner accepts Christ as a savior after Jesus Christ rescues him from a UFO abduction. When Brent Spiner has to take on Satan himself in a church service, Jesus Christ shows up to rescue him in Gale from Satan, now inside the body of Jesuit leader Zack Knight as the Antichrist. The battle between Jesus and Satan rages while Jesus works through Brent Spiner, Gail Cord Schuler, and her men to defeat Satan's war against true love. All quotes from Jesus Christ come from transcripts of actual conversations. And we have quite a lot of quotes there. He's been spending a lot of time with my Brent. In fact, since 2012, he's been meeting with my Brent just about every other day for lunch. And um, here's what I put in the author section, which I think is pretty accurate. No other writer exposes the Jesuit orders effectively as does Gail. That's me. So she's become their number one target. Gabriel Chana or Gail Cortuler studied writing under award-winning children's author Jim, Jim Murphy through the Institute of Children's Literature. And, I've, and he's given me writing instruction and encourages uh, her to have faith in her strong voice. Following Jesus' instructions, she writes about herself and the men who die for her. Jesus calls her his favorite writer and his favorite, though her writings nearly always make bestseller lists. Jesuit leader Zach Knight wields his stronghold over the mainstream media and internet to present Gail to the world as a failure, funneling Gail's writing monies to Jesuit banks. Like her ancestor King David, Gail takes on Goliath and writes to free the men who love her from Jesuit oppression. May love and truth prevail. Okay, so, <laughs> so you guys, I can tell you, this book is not boring. <laughs> Just the chapter titles should tell you and it's written I've worked very hard on it used all of my writing all the writing craft skills that I've learned to tell a a good tale and it reads like a science fiction it's kind of like a blend between it's, it reads like a historical biography and a religious biography but because Jesus Christ is like the main character it's not a shallow book it, have any of you ever read the thorn birds well I actually admire that's one of my favorite novels and I tried to put in some of like a thorn bird style of a voice in this book and it, I think I pulled it off and I have a very strong voice. Jesus told me you've got a strong voice, Gail, and use it because it, that's what makes your writing so good. So th there's a very strong, a mesmerizing voice in this book. And that's because I get into the heart and soul of Brent Spiner, who's a very deep and profound person. And uh, that's why I gave him narrator credit. Brent has actually been using, like I said, portions of this book as sworn statements in court stating that this is something that comes right from his heart and soul. So if you want, this is the definitive biography on Brent Spiner, and there will be a sequel. That'll be my next book. And uh, got to get it, folks. It's at Amazon right now. Happy Easter. I, I, it's an Easter release or a Passover release, too.